Hello there everyone, my name is Rose Monkey and happy April Fool's Day! None of this vlog is going to be an April Fool, just so you know. So today I want to talk about three very very big and important things that have happened or are going to be happening over the past couple of months and coming into next month and I've just been meaning to get back to you guys but it's been very very hectic and I'm going to explain. This vlog is not going to be about the 12 goals, we'll come back to that later. That's, that's still there but other things have happened and we need to talk about those other things. So the first thing I want to talk about is myself, my health, where I've been, what's going on. You guys may notice the chair. That's part of why I'm able to sit at my desk at the moment. This is literally the first day I've been able to sit at my desk in a month, straight up a month, easily. And part of that is the chair, part of that is because today's a particularly good day with my back. Um, I've only had the chair a couple of days, so it's, it's all looking up, it's good, we're getting there. The reason that I've not been able to do anything is um, because of a herniated disc, which effectively, you've got your spine, you've got your little vertebrates, and in between the vertebrates you've got your disc, and one of those discs has gone bloop, where it's not supposed to, <laughs> bloop. Um, so what's going to happen is, next week I'm going in for surgery, uh, if you guys want to follow my progress, follow me on Twitter. I will be tweeting about it, no doubt, because I'll be bored and I'll have nothing else to do. I'm going into the hospital and they're going to take the bloop away, which means that I will get my legs back. Because at the moment, my legs, they're very sore. I have a lot of numbness, tingling, uh, hot and coldness, mostly hot. Um, I just It's very uncomfortable. There's cramping. I can't really sit very long. I can't stand up very long. I either have to be walking or lying down, and that's not really a great way to live your life. So that's kind of me right now. But next week, it's all going to be better, and I'm very, very optimistic. So that's the first thing. Um, I'm not entirely sure what the procedure is called. I'll try and link it in the description below what the procedure is called so you techie biology, medical science-y type people can go and Google that and have a look and find out what they're going to be doing to me. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head what it's called, but I'll put that in the description. The second thing I want to talk about is Basil. Now, you guys remember Basil, the, the dragon, the beardy, the, the lovely... Oh, lovely. Um, she's poorly at the moment. Uh, she went off her food around Christmas time and just kept steadily eating less and less and less and less to the point where she stopped eating altogether. Now, I've had her at the vets. She's been checked over. She's had x-rays. She's been worm treated and they found a blockage and they were going to do surgery to remove the blockage. So on Monday, she went into the vets. They did an x-ray and the blockage has moved. So she didn't have surgery and she's come home now, but that almost was a thing. And I'm very happy that she's home. I'm very happy that she's going to be getting better. We just have to take our time with her. I'm going to be getting her well. And so, yeah, I'm optimistic that that's going to be good as well. Final thing I want to talk about is going to be the hardest thing for me to talk about. Um, just before I left work, my granddad got took into hospital. And for those of you who don't know, um, my grandparents brought me up. So my grandparents, I've always been very, very close to them. Uh, my grandma already sadly isn't with us and a week after he went into hospital my granddad went up to join her. Obviously those things they're always painful, it's always hard, I mean he's with he's with my grandma now and he's out of pain and that's all you can ask for really. Um, he had a lot of problems with his breathing, um, he was a very heavy smoker, the smoking had already destroyed his circulation, he'd already had a leg taken away and eventually it took everything. He was a wonderful man, a, a, a absolutely stellar gentleman, wonderful man, um, but he's had it rough and now at least he's, he's out of pain and it's over and that's all you can ask for I guess when somebody's in pain is to have have that pain stop. So it, it's, and he's with my grandma, he's with my mum, they're all reunited now so it's what happens, it's life. Unfortunately people go and it is what it is, I guess, you know? So that's why, much as I've wanted to come back to you guys, it's not happened. It's not been possible to come back and be on YouTube and do anything. I've, I've just had to focus and take time for myself, but after the operation, I'll be able to come back. I've got a list of games in my head that I want to play. I want to finish quite a few games off that I've already started. I want to play some new games. There's loads of really positive stuff that's going to be coming to the channel, but you're just going to have to bear with me a little bit longer while I straighten out 
everything that's happened and accept the changes that have happened more recently. So thank you for listening guys, I hope you guys are all doing really well. Uh, if you do want updates on me in hospital, I think I've already said, follow me on Twitter, I will be tweeting because I will be bored. Um, that being said, I've already got, um, I've got my tablet, I'm buying an SD card for my tablet, I've got a Pusheen colouring book uh, and I've bought Pokemon Moon. All these things are going to be coming with me to the hospital, I'm going to be very entertained in that res regard but probably still quite bored because you're always bored when you're stuck in hospital you can't do anything can you but we'll deal with that when it comes thank you for watching guys i hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have give that like button some love if any of you out there have lost anyone close to you recently or a long time ago extra love for you and just remember that at least the pain is gone and that's all sometimes all you can cling to is that the pain is gone they're reunited with past loved ones and just take it one day at a time. It's hard, but that's all you can really do. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're all having a wonderful summer. I hope you're all having a very mischievous uh, April Fool's Day. And I'll be back with more videos very, very soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. A compilation of, like, all, literally all of the Sherlock stories. All of them. Now, I did say before that because this is one whole book, I would count it as one whole book. But now I've had a look through, I can see where the lines are.